one of the things that we can feel has been happening with you and then we want you to speak your question clearly to us but one of the things that we can feel and others have the same experience but in your observation of what's going on around you teachers are often really good observers because you're looking for opportunities to explain things to others and you want to be in a position where you have a depth and breadth to the questions that are being inspired from you in other words observation gives you a palette to paint from it gives you a vocabulary to speak from it gives you experience to speak from and most of all it gives you a platform to bounce from a platform to want from and so all of that is good but one of the byproducts natural byproducts of step one and being in the world and being such a keen observer as you are is that you also become a comparer and the thing that you are most likely to compare is yourself to others and that comparison while it can be good in giving you choices can also work against you if you are doing too much of your thinking from an imbalanced state that's why we encourage you to get in balance and then go observe and then get in balance and then go observe and then get in balance and go observe because if you're out there observing from an unbalanced state then what you observe just reinforces your own feelings of not enoughness yes Absolutely.